All right, guys. So today I'm going to be uh, attempting to bore out my throttle body. Um, not necessarily bore it out, but port it a little bit so it flows a little better. So I do have the uh, dinning on here, and uh, it is three and a half, going to a three and a half inch MAF mass airflow sensor. And from there, it's going to this coupler, which takes three and a half and brings it down to, I believe, approximately three inches um, or so that fits the throttle body. Now, throttle body inside is, I believe, like 68 millimeter or something like that. And they, you can buy bigger ones uh, for, you know, upwards of three to five hundred dollars. Um, I just don't see any value in it. The, really, the horsepower is not much. Um, might give a little better throttle response so you might be able to get like 50 percent of that same benefit by just doing this yourself again this can apply to not only any bmw but any other vehicle as well assuming that there's assuming that there's enough uh material in there so first thing i'm going to do is just disconnect the uh, cables here and then i'm going to move into uh removing the four bolts on the throttle body and any hoses underneath uh this is all pretty easy to do and then uh, take it out and see how that goes real quick uh, just in, uh, in case you can't figure out how to get your throttle body cable on this particular vehicle um, it just it basically you uh, it pops out and there's a socket basically sitting inside of as you can see there and then uh, basically pops out um, and then you just bring it down and I mean it's not that very hard you don't need to really do anything a little screwdriver will do it so that, that's pretty much that and the cables are pretty self-explanatory and then you're going to have uh, basically uh, four bolts around the throttle body in this case and then you're going to have some under some uh, cool lines underneath which um, i plan on uh, bypassing anyways but yeah that's that's pretty much it okay so we got the throttle body off it was a pain in the ass so you got on this particular one you got two coolant hoses uh, basically um, circulating through here to keep this warm in a colder environment. If you're in a colder environment, it could cause the throttle body to lock up in a freezing cold, but that's not a case in southern states. Um, this is the air. Um, goes to the ICV valve, um, ICV, and there's a little hole somewhere in here that uh, right there. And that's that's pretty much the three hoses. A little pain in the ass, tight space. I lost a piece in the engine bay for the uh, um, cable, throttle cable, which you have to find or fabricate another one until you get order one. Um, I covered this up with blue tape. This is the uh, sensor that uh, measures the throttle position. And uh, so basically, inside here, we're going to basically. Uh, remove some around this area um, this is the inlet okay inlet and then the part that goes to the uh, manifold intake manifold and the gasket sits uh, right about the edge there so you don't want to go too far you don't need to open up too much just to, you know open this up a little bit another thing you could do is uh, let's see here you could shave a little bit of this inner part off. Gotta be very careful with the screws. Um, don't want to damage the screws. You don't want to cut off the screws, but you could do more shaving there if you wanted to, not necessary. Um, you know, generally clean it and what so forth. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start working on that.
here's the final product. Um, I didn't board it out, bore it out enough as I wanted to, but that's because my Dremel was didn't have the right tips. I had to use a um, basically a regular uh, drill, which does work, but it just takes a lot longer. And um, I, you know, flared the edges a little bit and uh, took off some of the lip inside. There's some lip still left. I just got tired of using the drill for an hour and um, just gonna put it back on as is. But uh, yeah, and then after that, just uh, use some uh, sandpaper on the inside, smooth it out a little bit more. Um, you don't need to smooth it out super smooth because uh, it won't make much of a difference uh, in terms of airflow. And uh, you know, you can do more, but you just gotta be careful that you don't go through that lip right there because that lip is indented and that could cause a problem of breaking this piece right off. So um, that's something to do if you got a couple hours to burn, maybe more, depending on how long it takes to take it out. But uh, will it make a difference? Mm, who knows, probably not, but eh, it was fun. At least I cleaned the throttle body. Um, and uh, you can put some oils or whatnot uh, on these uh, joints here and put it back on the car.